Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Niche. My name is E-Rose, and we're currently in Early Access version 0.3.2, and we are playing with the Queen Bee tribe, and our current queen for this tribe is Queen Iris, and she just had her first child, which is little Mousy over here, which I'm thinking she might be queen one day. I don't know, she's just so adorable, but we will have to see uh, what type of children Queen Iris has in the future. And we don't have too many, uh little nichelings in our tribe at the moment. We need to get some more um, under our belt, uh, but unfortunately we have Jeannie and Jamie and Loey, and they are all sickly creatures, so they are kind of, they're not necessarily banished from the tribe, but they are kept away from um, everyone else in the tribe because we don't want anyone to get sick from them. Uh, we also have Honey over here who has a very, very unique face because she has gills, and then there's, of course, Queen Iris and her child Mousy. And then we also have Fox over here and King. Um, so I'm really excited to play this tribe and you guys seem to really, really like it and you like the little story that we have going on. And some of you suggested that maybe we do some forbidden romances and maybe add in some extra, you know, little love triangles in the mix. So we'll have to see how that goes in the future if there is something that will seem to like play out really well. We might do something like that, but for now we are going to continue on playing and I think we're out of turn, so let's go ahead and skip to the next day. And our poor little sickly creatures are unfortunately are getting sick. It makes me so sad. Uh, looks like Jeannie is going to pass away very, very soon. Loie is still very sick as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and get all these berries that we can. And then Jamie, she can go ahead and collect the berries over here too. And then we have little Honey over here. She can go ahead and collect the little nuts and also the berries. We have a lot of little like berry collection areas over there. Uh, Mousy is not actually old enough to pop out of the nest. So let's go ahead and push her over there. And then we are going to go ahead and once again breed King and Queen Iris together to see if they can have another healthy baby. Uh, so let's go ahead and pop Queen Iris over here. And let's see, why don't we have Fox kind of move over here to unlock this berry bush. So we have some more food choice or mood more food sources. Uh, and let's go ahead and collect the different types of grasses that we have. And we also have a berry bush over here. Oh my goodness. We have so many berry bushes. We're going to have so much food. It's going to be amazing. Let's see. Is there anything else that Jamie can do? She can go ahead and collect the different grasses around this area. And then for a little Jeannie, unfortunately she's going to pass away. It's going to be really sad. We're going to do a really quick check to see if we can hear anything out of the ordinary. And it looks like everything is pretty A-OK. -okay. And what about for smell? Looks like everything's good. So far we have not found any um, wandering creatures for our tribe, so I'm really interested to see if we will find any very soon. Uh, let's go ahead and skip the day. And it looks like, oh no, poor Jeannie. Poor Jeannie has passed away. And it looks like we- <gasps> Oh, we have twins! Oh my goodness! We actually have- it looks like- Oh my goodness, we have twin little baby girls. Oh my goodness, these little girls are so, so precious. I did see um, one of them took damage, so I'm hoping that they aren't sickly, but it does, it looks like. Um, this little girl over here does have double A immunity. She has normal fertility. She does have double nibble fingers. She has swimming tail. Uh, normal hind legs, medium body, short snout, and medium ears. But unfortunately, she is a sickly child, so we're going to have to try to move her away from the healthy children. And we also have this little girl over here who actually has um, healthy immunity, so that's pretty good. She has G and A immunity. She has normal fertility. She has these violet eyes, dots. She does have the medium tail and the nimble fingers, so that is pretty nice. Uh, we are on N because we are doing the... A to Z naming. So we're actually on N right now. So we're going to go ahead and name this little one Nutella. And then I'm not too sure for twins. Should we name them both with the, um, the letter or should we name like this one with an O? I'm not too sure what we should do for that. So please let me know down in the comments below for the next set of twins that we have. I think what we're going to do is we are going to name her with an O name. Uh, we're going to go ahead and name her Opal. Um, but unfortunately, Opal is going to have to try to wander away from the tribe uh, and go ahead with the uh, other sickly creatures, which is pretty sad. Uh, but let's go ahead and move Queen Iris away from the sickly child. And we're going to go ahead and breed her once again with Fox. Or actually, no, it was King, wasn't it? We're going to go ahead and breed her with King. Uh, they seem to be doing pretty A-OK. -okay. We are getting a little bit of sickly creatures because they're not the best 
um, immunity, like, connection, because we don't really have any males that are really good, unfortunately, right now. But hopefully that will change in the future. Hopefully we can find some wandering males to come and join our tribe. Let's go ahead and start the getting all these different resources. Let's go ahead and have Jamie start collecting the different grasses over here. And poor Jeannie, she is over there. She, oh, her bones remain. Uh, let's go ahead and have Loie collect the berries that are over in this area. And it looks like everything is A-OK. -okay. She still has one move, but I think we're just going to leave her there for now. And I want to get that mole pretty soon. Maybe we'll have Honey get that mole. <laughs> that mole's bothering me. Um, but oh my goodness. Twin little girls, unfortunately. Oh, this the fate of this twin is not is not in the good hands. Not in good hands. Uh, but let's go ahead and see what the next turn is going to be. And it looks like we have a little boy who is looks like he is healthy, awesome. So he has A and B immunity. He has normal fertility. Uh looks like he has stripes, he has swimming tail, normal eyes. Normal hind legs, he has runner leg and nimble fingers, he has medium body, short snout, medium ears, and no horns. So I'm really glad that he is healthy. Uh, we are on with the P name, so we're going to go ahead and name this little boy Pop. We're going to name Pop right here. And then we're going to have to take Opal and start taking her away from the healthy, uh, from our healthy sister over here. So let's go ahead and move Naella um, out a little bit more this way so she does not get sick. And then let's go ahead and take Mousy um, over here as well. And I think what we're going to do is, let's see, I kind of want to use that nest, but I don't want the queen to be too close to the sickly child. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and leave her right here and breed once again with King. Um, Fox is going to go ahead and collect the different berries from over here. And he can go ahead and pop over this way too and collect the bears that are over in this area. And then let's go ahead and have King also move kind of towards this area too. Hopefully he doesn't get sick from little Opal over here. Who is going to uh, have to go away, go away from her sister. Her sister who might become a queen. And unfortunately she is going to be um, summoned to go down here with the other sickly creatures. It's so sad. I don't want them to be sick. Um, but unfortunately with the new update, um, if you have sickly creatures, they can um, unfortunately infect other members of the tribe if they're too close. Uh, so we're going to have to send them away, unfortunately. Uh, let's see, the queen is currently pregnant, but she's not in a nest, so let's go ahead and skip the turn. And poor little opal is sick. Oh my goodness. Oh no, and she got king sick too, didn't she? <gasps> Opal, no! See, that is why we have to move. We have to move, um, we have to move her away from the tribe. Oh no, now King is sick. Oh no, I don't know how long he's going to be sick for, or if he's just going to be sick, sick forever. So we're going to have to move him out this way as well. Why don't we move him with King, or move, um, Opal with King? I guess they have to be together now. I'm not too sure if he's going to be sick forever. <gasps> That's so sad. It is so sad. Alright, so we're going to have to keep that in mind to make sure that we keep like everybody like far away from sickly creatures as possible uh, let's go ahead and move mousy over this way and let's move um, the queen um, in this nest and unfortunately her mate is now sickly so we can't really have any I don't know if we'll be able to have babies with him if he's sick uh, we don't want to really risk getting the queen sick do we I don't think so uh, let's go ahead and go over here and then we can go ahead and move Fox we have to breed Fox uh, with Queen Iris for now and then down here we have a little honey, and we're gonna go ahead and move her. Oh, looks like that mole ran away. Oh, the stupid mole. Oh no, there he is. Okay, you know what? We can't get the mole right now. That's okay. We'll get him later, maybe. Maybe one day we will get that mole. Uh, poor Jamie, she's gonna pass away in the next turn. Let's go ahead and collect those grasses. And then Louie, she is going to collect the berries that are over here. There we go. Let's go ahead and collect the grasses that are right there as well. We have almost 200 food, um, but like only one potential male at the moment <laughs> who isn't sickly. Oh no. And it looks like we have another violet-eyed child. Oh no, they're very sick. King is very sick now. Oh no. But look at this. Look at this little boy. Look at how unique he is. He has this beautiful like orange colored hair and these beautiful violet eyes and oh my goodness. Look at him. Um, he has runner's leg and nimble fingers. He has medium body, short snout, medium ears. Um, he has G and A immunities. And these beautiful purple eyes. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and name him Quick because he is the Q name. So little Q, little cutie over here. And let's see. Let's go ahead and move Mousy. She's not old enough to. She's now an adult now, so that's pretty cool. 
Uh, let's see, can we have Mousy go across the water? I don't think we can. Uh, let's go ahead and move her down this way to see if she can find um, anything down here. Why don't we go ahead and move Pop this way too to see, because we are on the hunt for some other creatures. And let's go ahead and move Queen Iris. Uh, why don't we go ahead and move her right about here? And she can breed, I guess, with Fox right here and pop down a nest and hopefully she can have a healthy baby with him. Let's go collect the berries that are over here. And um, Naella, why don't you go ahead and pick up some of the grasses this way and start going this way to a little, like, expedition -y area to see what we can find. I'm not sure if we can cross. It looks like we can cross right here. So we should be able to cross that area. And then we're going to need Fox to kind of stay over here. And then poor, poor King. Poor King is now sick. He got too close to Opal and is now very sick. It looks like there is another nest over there, which is nice. Uh, honey, she can go ahead and collect the berries over here. And why don't we go ahead and move her kind of over this way to scare away this bunny and get that mole because that mole is bothering me or we could go ahead and move Loey. oh there's another mole there go ahead and move Loey, and Loey can go ahead and get those moles over there too uh, let's do a really quick check to see what we can find with hearing and smelling it looks like there's lots of bunnies and lots of moles oh uh, what's that over there it looks like that is a little bun bun right over there and let's go ahead and see what we can smell and there we go we can smell little berry bushes all around uh, but let's go ahead and see what the next turn is going to bring and we have another child who is oh no sickly oh no sickly baby we must move the queen immediately away from her sickly children she must wander this way fast we also need fox oh fox is gonna pass away pretty soon so let's go ahead and make sure we breed with the queen and let's go ahead and move quick as far away from this baby as possible. Hopefully, um, a little quick does not get sick. And let's go ahead and move Naella. And it looks like we found a carnivore over here. So let's go see if King can go ahead and take on this carnivore. And it looks like Opal is going to have to try to take on the carnivore as well. Because she's really the only one over there. And then down this way, honey, you can go ahead and why don't we move her over here and go ahead and get that mole. We got the mole. Holy moly. Uh, let's go ahead and get that meat. And let's see if we can get this, these bunnies over here. These bunnies are like bothering me. Let's see if we can get them in the next turn. Uh, let's go ahead and move Mousy um, down here and move her over this way. To start making a pathway to go through this area to see what we can find. And then we can go ahead and collect some of the different grasses over here too. And uh, hopefully, oh, this carnivore is going to hurt. It's gonna hurt these two unfortunate little sickly creatures over here so let's go ahead and skip the turn and oh yes you did he hurt opal so much uh let's go ahead and lick opal's wounds and let's see it looks like king um he didn't take any damage from the wounds let's go ahead and have him fight and opal can go ahead and fight too and it looks like the carnivore is still alive so i'm not doing too well over there um, honey can go ahead. Why don't she go ahead and pop over here and try to get these bunnies? Oh, these bunnies like running around bothering me. And let's see, it looks like little. Oh, we didn't name him. Um, he is a ro or an R name. Uh, let's go ahead and name him Ralph. We're gonna name him little Ralph. Or maybe we'll name him Ralphie. Little Ralphie. Poor Ralphie, he's sick. Poor Ralphie. Um, let's go ahead. How do we. Ralphie. Little Ralphie. Uh, let's go ahead and move him over here. And quick, you need quickly, quickly run away from your sick um, sibling. And let's go ahead and start moving over here. Um, banish. Ooh, we can banish members of the tribe. Ooh, 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 ooh. And let's go ahead and put Queen Hyrus over here. And she can go ahead and... Oh, we need 10 nesting materials to make a baby. Oh, no. We need to find a nest. We need to find a nest so we can have babies. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and see uh, what's over here. If we can find a nest really quick. Uh, let's go ahead and go over here. And yeah, we're going to have to get some more materials so we can lay our babies. Or we can wait till we move Ralphie over so he does not get Queen Iris sick. And then over here, looks like everything is doing a-okay. 
Alright, so let's go ahead and see what the next day is going to bring. And it looks like, ooh, lots of damage for our poor little creatures over here. Um, Opal is still hanging on. She's going to have such a short life. Oh, that is so sad. She's going to go ahead and fight this carnivore. And fortunately, we were able to take on that carnivore and get him. And then poor Ralphie, come over here, collect these different berries. And I guess we can go ahead and have Queen Iris. Is that far enough away? I'm not sure. Uh, hopefully we can see if we can find another nest this way. Because uh, I'm a little bit concerned um, having our queen so close to a sickly child. Uh, let's go ahead and see if there's anything over there. Let's go ahead and move you over there. It looks like there is a little mole. There is a little berry bush. And let's see the queen. I mean, we could... Uh, Oh, it looks like there's a wandering creature. Ooh, it's a man. We found a man. Unfortunately, it looks like this man is also sick. Um, but he does carry on the F immunity, so he might be something that we want to um, have join our tribe. I'll have to think about that. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> but he does bring in some new immunities and a different, different genes. So we will have to think about adding him to the tribe. But let's go ahead and move Honey over here. I collect some of these berries and some of these nuts. Oh, poor honey. She's all alone over here. And uh, hopefully this guy doesn't get the queen sick. That would be pretty sad if Queen Iris has gotten sick. But let's go ahead and see what the next turn is going to bring. And it looks like... Oh, no! Another sickly ba baby over here. Um, she is um, an S name. And we're going to go ahead and name her um, Silver Mist. Um, but unfortunately she is sickly, and is the queen sick yet? No, not yet. Uh, let's go over here. We're gonna go ahead and breed with this random man. Did we breed? Did we make a baby? I don't think we made a baby. Oh no, we didn't make a baby. We need, um, let's invite him to join our tribe. Come over here. And breed with her. And then hopefully we will get a baby that is not a sickly baby. Uh, let's go ahead and move the queen as far away as possible over this way. And let's see what else is going over here. Uh, little Naella. She can go ahead and go this way to uncover some of the different grasses. And then we have little Quick over here who can go ahead and start clearing up some of this area. We do have another berry bush over here, which is really, really nice. Uh, we're finding lots and lots of little different berry bushes. And let's go ahead and start collecting these. Let's go ahead and move you over here so we can go ahead and collect those berries. And then honey, oh my goodness, honey, honey bunny, honey bunches of oats. Let's go ahead and can we move her kind of like in between? Let's go just go ahead and shake the tree for now. And go ahead and get the nut. There we go. Cuckoo for coconuts, cuckoo for coconuts, cuckoo for coconuts. And, oh no, poor Opal has passed away. Oh, that is so sad. Uh, but King, you can come over here. There is another berry bush. And then, Canook, 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 Canook. Um, you are also sickly, so we're going to try to move you away from the tribe. Uh, hopefully, you do give us a, a nice child. But let's go ahead and see what the next turn is going to bring. And so many sickly creatures. Oh my goodness. Silver Mist, you're sick. We're going to have to move you out of the area. And let's see, for the queen, we can see if we can move down this way. Would that be enough? We have enough time to have your baby. Um, let's go ahead and move you here. And then it doesn't look like we can really cross this area. So we're going to have to come over here and pop in this nest, I guess. And honey, go ahead and get those berries, shake the tree, get some nuts. And let's go ahead and get the berries over here and collect some of the different grasses. And at least the the sickly creatures are doing a good job exploring the area and seeing what we can find. Uh, there we go. And then poor Silver Mist. Uh, and then Mousy, why don't we have you come over here? You can start collecting the different grasses. And oh, looks like there's another berry bush over here as well. And then a pop. You can go ahead and pop over here and pick up some berries and ooh, it looks like ooh, we have a little girl ooh, who has eye and h immunity interesting uh she won't be able to breed with the queen though 
So I'm not too sure uh, if you'd want to have her join our tribe since she really, um, really of no use. <laughs> she cannot breed because only the queen can breed with the queen challenge. Uh, let's go ahead and see what the next turn is going to bring. And let's go ahead and move our queen. Did I just skip the day again? I might have just skipped the day again. I don't know what happened. Uh, let's move the queen over this way and get her out of the water. And pop her in this nest to have her baby far away from the sickly, the sickly creatures. And let's go ahead and have honey uh, collect the different nuts over here. And there's a bunny over there we're going to have to get. Silly bunny. Um, silver mist, you can go ahead and collect the berries. And let's see. There's sickly boys over here. You can go ahead and collect those. And get the different grasses. And then canook. Canook nook. You can go ahead and get these berries and the grasses too. And then let's go ahead and have Pop um, get some of these berries. Let's go ahead and move you over here. And then Quick. I really like Quick. Quick is such a beautiful little like creature. Like He's really amazing. Um, but Mousy, she can go ahead and collect the berries that are right here. There we go. And Nut Ella, she can go ahead and collect the different grasses over there. And then I'm really excited to see what type of baby Queen Irish is going to have. Hopefully she has a healthy baby, and hopefully she has a baby with a new immunity. Uh, we have a beautiful baby girl who is not sick, who has G and F immunity. She did get the F immunity, which is a new immunity, I think, to our tribe, which was from the wandering male, male that we found. Uh, but she has good fertility. She has panda pattern. She has medium tail, um, normal eyes normal runner's leg and nimble finger. She has medium body, big nose, medium ears, and no horns. And I think we are on C. Are we on T? We might be on T. Let me go ahead and check our my M M Q R S T. We are on T. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, look at our look at our family. We have Queen. Oh my goodness. Uh, Queen Iris right here. Look at all of her children that she's had. Um, she is the mother. And so we are on T now. So let's go ahead and name this beautiful little girl. I think we're going to name her Tiki. Little Tiki over here with a very um, interesting immunity gene. Looks like Queen Iris is getting a little bit older. I kind of want to see. Can we go ahead and move Canook? He's going to die in two days. Can we go ahead and move him over here? And then can the queen kind of like meet up with him? And then potentially have another baby with him um, without getting sick? Uh, a little like hope to see <laughs> if we can uh, mate with him without getting sick. So that'll be interesting to see. And a little tiki over here. I wonder if she'll be the next queen. She might actually... She, she currently she's the youngest daughter of Queen Iris. Well, let's go ahead and collect the different grasses that are over here. And Silver Mist, you can go ahead and collect the berries over this way. Let's go ahead and move her right there. And looks like some of our creatures are passing away due to old age. We have little Nut Ella over here. Go ahead and collect the berries. And Mousy, you can go ahead and collect those berries as well, sweetie. And let's go ahead and collect the grasses. And move Mousy this way. And then let's go ahead and take quick in put you up here and then pop you can go ahead and collect the different berries and grasses there we go getting lots of food gonna have a lot of food for our babies oh yeah uh all right so let's go ahead and skip the turn oh he might actually pass away no he's still oh you know, he died he died we were gonna have a baby with him but now he's dead <laughs> uh let's go ahead and move tiki closer to the rest of her tribe and honey She's doing just a good job, like, collecting the nuts over here. And let's see. Healthy males. We have Pop, who has A and B immunity. And I think all of them are going to be pretty not great for um, <laughs> uh, for our queen here. Uh, we can go ahead and breed maybe with Quick, maybe with Pop, or maybe with Ralphie. Um, I'm thinking maybe Pop. Um, let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and move the queen back over this area. And let's move her over here. Um, Silver Mist, come, why don't you come over here and get this mole? There you go. Good job, sweetie. 
Uh, and then have Ralphie go ahead and get the meat and collect the berries. And let's go ahead and move Pop. Uh, let's go ahead and let's just have him get berries for now. And then let's see. Oh, she has three days left to live, so we can have at least one more baby. Uh, maybe more if you're lucky. And then Mousy, you can go ahead and collect the different grasses. There we go. Getting a lot of nesting material for possible babies in the future. There we go. And anything going on over there? Let's do a really quick check to see what we can hear. Um, let's see. Any new animals? Any new creatures? Nope. And smell. And there we go. And let's go ahead and see what the next day is going to bring. And, oh, it's so sad. I hate when they little sickly babies makes me really sad. Uh, look at Tiki. Tiki has grown up a little bit. Let's start moving her um, towards the rest of her family this way. And let's go ahead and move Pop. Let's see, do we have enough for? We do have enough for a nest. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and move you, Pop, um, over there, and then we can go ahead and move the queen um over here and she has how many moves just one more move left just to have her get some grasses and then we can move you over here and have you pop over there and you guys can breed in the next turn and she will have her last baby maybe or maybe we can have another one um silver mist you can go ahead and get some berries and little ralphie you can go ahead and also get some berries as well there we go and let's see quick you can go ahead and move over here and collect some different berries and we can also get some of the grasses nice I want to get um I want to kind of want to get the mole so we'll try to get the mole in the next turn all right there we go and honey why don't you go ahead and get this food right there and get some nuts awesome so much food so little time now let's go ahead and make it the next turn have another baby pop down a nest. Uh, let's go ahead and use the turns to get some grasses from her. And then a pop. You can go ahead and pop over here get some berries. And we can go ahead and move these two. Collect some berries. Uh, maybe we can have like a little hidden romance with uh, some of the like sickly banished creatures. It might be pretty interesting to see um, what happens. Or maybe we need like a certain set of events for creatures to have um, these forbidden babies. They're not supposed to have babies. Um, only the queen is supposed to have babies, but maybe some of the other creatures um, of the tribe will, will have some forbidden love going on. So maybe that will be a possibility in the future. You guys will have to let me know uh, what you think about that. Let's go ahead and move there. Ooh, hello, 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 little girl. Um, let's see, she has B and H immunity. Unfortunately, she's a little girl. Um, so she can't really, we can't really breed with her. So I don't know if she'd really be a good fit for the tribe. I mean, she could be another body to help us. Uh, so we'll have to think about that if we want to add her. She is a really pretty creature. Uh, but let's go ahead and see what um, Queen Iris's last baby is going to be. And we have had a little baby boy uh, right here who is healthy, who has A and B immunity. He also has a medium tail, normal eyes, normal hind legs, runner's leg, and nimble fingers, uh, medium body, Short snout and medium ears. And he is going to be, I think, a U name. Um, Yar, Yar, Umbrella. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Umbrella fits. Sure, we have little Umbrella here. Um, the queen has passed away, so it is time to make another um, creature queen. And I think we're going to have little Tiki be queen. Um, since she does have the very, um, interesting F immunity in her genes. How about Umbrella? Did he get the F immunity? No. Okay. So, Tiki is now going to be Queen. We're going to move her to the Alpha rank and change her name to Queen Tiki. So, Queen Tiki is a young, a very young queen. She will be reigning in the next episode. Um, uh, but let's do a really quick, uh, collection of different foods over here. And see what we can get um, but I'm having so much fun playing this challenge um, let me know guys if you are playing this challenge and how it is going for you if you are doing so uh, let me go ahead and get these berries shake this tree come move over here there we go and what else is going on over here can we get that mole no I can't get the mole holy moly uh, all right there we go and let's do a really quick check to see if we can find anything awesome over this way there's some nuts over here which is nice 
All right, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Queen Bee Challenge. Hopefully Queen Tiki will have a nice reign with her new tribe. Look at her coloration and her big nose and um, her little panda pattern. It is really, really awesome. But I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.